Yeah, folks, Quilly King here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Dwarf Fortress. We are probably going to kit out our military with full armor soon, even though I was a little bit worried about the movement rates and things, but maybe it doesn't matter as much for the raids. When we send people out raiding, do dwarves actually have to walk around? Is that an issue? Maybe it's not. Maybe going to the full like breastplate and greave setup and everything like that is going to be the correct way to go for that. Um, and even if they move a little slower on the overworld, maybe it's not a big deal. Maybe I should just commit to the heaviest armor immediately right away for my dwarves. It feels in theory like a good idea to train them up first on a slightly lighter set of armor. And we might still um, in situations where we're feeling a little bit limited in terms of material, we might still reserve the heavy armor for the more experienced squads but at this point we we should have enough means to fully equip people so that we'll be looking into that in a second but the other thing um and i don't know who it was on the uh discord let me see if i can pull it up real quick who pointed out with my auto butcher rules where's dwarf fortress in here um but do, 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 do. oh uh goldrim pointed out that with auto butcher it's defaulting to hiding uh rows with um with non-zero or hiding rows where the targets are all zeros and it uh it doesn't stick around if i close this and reopen it it resets it to here so that's why we couldn't see the bores for a while because they were all set to zeros across the board um anyway i went ahead and just set them to uh fives across all the categories for now um we'll probably trim that back later or do something else but for now we can now no longer worry about our bores um uh, being butchered as soon as we take them out of the cage. Now, I don't know if they have to graze. It still might be worth setting them here. Like, if I set these to grazers only, yeah, the boars don't show up. And I think cage things will show up over here. So they don't actually have to be assigned there. It might still make sense to assign them to a pasture. Maybe not even this one. Maybe, you know what? We've had this area sort of designate. I don't remember what my plan for this was. Maybe it was just an attempt at symmetry. But what if we make this the boar pen? All right, if we just dig out that part right over there, we can make this the boar pen. I, I kind of like that idea. Yeah. Stray boar has been slaughtered. Um, Right, but that's not our giant wild boars. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Okay. Military wise. So we have been slowly generating some things looking for a target of well, I thought five, but I might have bulk ordered a few. OK, some of this is being smelted now. Oh, but that makes sense. That's iron. That's fine. Yep. Iron and, you know, potentially lower quality. That's a OK. The limbs of silver, some of which died off. We're going to start with you. We're going to sign uniform the heavy uniform. Now, the heavy uniform does include my default behavior of steel short swords. How do I feel about that? We do keep producing all these spears. Again, in theory, the short swords can do better. Maybe, maybe I'll go ahead and let that be confirmed and have that be fine. We'll give them a chance to go and uh, tweak their equipment. I don't think I have to hit update after an equipment change. We'll see. We'll just give them a little bit of time and do that. Um, and so if we're going to do this, I'm wondering about adding a bulk order for steel breastplate, uh, steel greaves. I can't remember if there's something else in this armor set that they don't normally do. Um, let's order up like 30 of each. Because the idea is, other than my archers, I'm going to try to move everyone across to that. So let those go first, then we'll see if there was another... Um, I guess if I take a look at the equipment here and details, so the breastplate is new. The greaves are new because they're heavy. Are the gauntlets new? The steel gauntlets might be new. Or maybe the steel high boot. I guess I could go and compare. Yeah, that's kind of weird with the UI. Um, to a squad that's still lightly. Steel high boot is there. Steel gauntlet is there. Steel helm is there. Yeah, it might just be the breastplate and greaves that are different. Um, oh, I guess it might be a different skill set to go from their spear training to their short sword training, isn't it? It may be. OK. 
cancel new weapon uh spear made out of steel if i confirm you and then order an update yeah you've got one um what are these uniforms called heavy uh so what i want to do with you is call this heavy plus spear confirm and save and then assign to this squad the heavy plus spear and then i'll do the other squads after but maybe we'll go ahead and let uh, this go by oh hey um the latest news on dwarf fortress i think if i read correctly i think df is going to get built in searching for the creature type. oh maybe it's already there hello Because this is not DF hack. This is built in. I didn't realize it was already out. But didn't I also see something about... Maybe it wasn't this order screen. Maybe it was something else. I still want this to be searchable so badly. And that was the thing I was excited about the patch notes. But the way it was described, um, I wasn't sure if that was it. It might have been... I don't know. Some other screen. I mean, there is a there's a search there, but this is a DF hack search box, box, so I don't know. Where's the do, 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 do. Dwarf Fortress? Is it on Steam? Yeah, patch 50.12. Ability to sort the list from the creature's task menus. Kitchen interface sorting and searching. Work detail sorting and searching. Uh, work detail, is it this screen? It's this screen. Okay. Yeah, so I still want the order system to be searchable, please. Kitchen interface, what do they mean by that? So if we click on a kitchen. Let's say kitchen interface sorting and searching. Sorting and searching. Oh, hold on. They might mean this screen here. Yeah, okay. Okay, we got a search box, we got this, we've got that. All right, that's fair. That that needs to exist as well. Wild boar has reverted to a wild state. See, that is going to be a bit of a concern. The training has to be kind of constant. I may not want to decage them until we've got um, more knowledge on taming so that we can... I think when they tame, they get a certain level, a certain amount of tameness points applied. And I think with more knowledge and with greater taming skill, I think more gets applied on the tame state. So here you are trained. So you can see the little quality difference here. I mean, maybe this one would be perfectly fine to free up. Now. Hen pasture. Partially trained. So yeah, I wonder if I let you out. Because I think there is a limit to how much they can be trained. Now you're only gone to semi-wild. I think there's a limit to how much they can be trained while they're in a cage. So I'm going to give an order to move you here. And see if that opens up more stuff to us. Look at how huge this thing is. Now, can I access the training rules from this screen? Butcher Guild adopt has trainers. Yes. Um, if I go here, pets, livestock. Oh, but I won't know which one you are. Because training's enabled. Oops. Available for a pet. Uh, Geld, pet, butcher. So I don't know if there's an explicit training command here to make them into a war creature. I think, was, did he used to assign them to squads? There's no button for that here. I don't know. I 
keep getting conflicts. You've been trying it again. These backpacks are getting in the way, but I can't toggle the backpacks on them. Why are some of them? Oh, it's probably doing all of our squads. Uh, Humpa isn't in here, are you? You must be in the Veiled Slivers. Silvers. Or, yeah, right there. Because I was going to say, if you're looking for a quiver. Now, can you not wear a quiver and a backpack at the same time? Blocking, missing. You're wearing a backpack so you can't get a quiver. But those aren't things we can configure. Yeah, I wonder if that's still kind of buggy. We need them to equip, what, their quiver before the backpack? Assuming they can have both. Who's the crankiest dwarf over here? Nomad Slinger, Fishery Worker. Can't be creative, you're lonely. Unable to wander, lonely. Practice a craft, make romance. I mean, you're not part of the military. Oh, you are part of the Veiled Slivers. But, I mean, you are in staggered training. Let's say put everyone on time off and then do the thing. Maybe we force everyone in the tavern for a little while. Off duty, everyone. Tavern dining, activate. So it should force absolutely everyone to come into this area. We'll let that run for, I don't know, maybe we'll have a month of parties. All throughout Malachite, perhaps. Now I know it's a civilian alert, but I believe that with the military being off duty, I think it will apply to them. So let's let everyone socialize. I mean, that's not going to help his desire to wander. I wonder if that, if he would be satisfied with that if I sent the archers out on a raid. Maybe I will set the archers out on a raid. Just to see. Now we have to be careful because we know... Was it this human place here? Had an elephant? Kind of weirdly and unexpectedly. Thought it was going to be an easy little job, but no. All right. Ninth of Malachite. Yeah, we'll try to give them hopefully lots of time to socialize. Oh, Nubal. Ah, uh, yeah, we've got... Okay, never mind. Cancel the civilian alert because you're not going to be able to reach the workshop. No migrants this season. Well, we were full. We were actually at 201 people before we lost a few people to the raid. Actually, no, we're at 202 people before we lost a few people to the raid. So, um... All right, tell you what. You guys... Let's do a little raid of another human hamlet. We'll give you some extra cover. Okay. Three squads go out. And just raid a site. Not pillage, not plunder. A magma forge. Well, that's very exciting. Although the last time it wasn't the greatest. I can't remember what we got last time. Oh yeah, we got this awkward crossbow. But who knows, maybe we'll get something better this time around. Okay, Boris here. Still got that trained state. You're sickly and recover slowly. Hmm. I don't know if there's a way to find out what our civilization's training level is for the critters. Oh, hello. The queen's not happy with her rooms. When did that happen? Is it because I've been making other people's rooms too good? Well, first of all, you don't even have all your furnishings yet. But let's go and add in some statues to a few of these. Are you unhappy with all of your rooms? Yeah, except for the mausoleum. All right. Start with those. Do we might not even need quite this many? Let me cancel this middle spot and then we'll see how things go. You're still waiting for tables and chairs. Um, I wonder, did I, I might've put a requirement for quality for some of these. Maybe what I'll do is I'll ask for like a ton of tables to be made, like 30. And then the chairs as well. I might have put a quality filter in there. Um, had I intentionally made these offset? I guess so, although... 
They're not quite offset. No, this might have been a mistake. I don't hate it, though. We do have some statues that are going to get installed soon. Squad's out doing the raid still. More reverting. Um, do we have a specific animal tamer job? I think we do. Or... Oh, yes, right here. You're on there. You're doing it all the time. On the other hand, we do have a, another good one here. You're also... You're the leader of one of the churches. But I think you can probably do a double task. And let's just keep constant taming going on. I'm really worried about this one losing its train state since it's no longer caged. But we'll see what we can do. Squad's still out. Squad's still out. Hopefully you don't run into a terrible elephant. Watch me have sent these people out to the same one as last time, but I don't, I don't think so. I don't know. Oh, one of these cages could be deconstructed. Yeah, this one right over here. That's the one where we took the boar out of it. So we can get that out and ready for traps. Okay. How's this stuff? Good. It is coming along. Of course, we sent out a squad that we did tell to equip with heavy armor, but I think that's probably fine. And then when they come back, they can equip themselves. Maybe what I'll do is I'll go ahead and change the equipment for these guys here to the heavy plus spear composition. As the stuff is getting made. Now, how's my... Where's my living quarters? There, right here. Okay, so that's been installed. Is that good enough? Okay, so your throne room is good enough. I think they're just on the cusp. Probably would be better if we'd had the higher skill for the um, the engraving, but... And for all I know, this room might be fine once it gets all its tables and chairs. But we'll queue up some more statues. Are statues something we are regularly building? I think probably? Question mark? Shoot, I didn't see it. Of course, doesn't mean it wasn't there. This really needs to be searchable. Maybe it's not. Maybe I was doing made to order with the statues. And I was making them out of what? Platinum? Okay, so I need eight more currently. So I will order platinum statue. And I will ask specifically for eight. Or maybe I should put in the repeating job since I keep looking for it, but I don't know. We'll we'll make an order on demand here. Hopefully I have enough platinum, but I suspect we probably do because I think that's one of the things we can smelt here. 14 platinum bars, yeah. It's not a huge amount. We might need three per statues, which means we don't have enough. Uh, this job is here, so we must clearly have more platinum ore. So, hopefully that'll get done over time. Are the squads back? The squads are back. Let's take a look at our mission report here, please. So we did the raid. So, no combat at all. You came back with some loot. All right. I'm hoping that satisfies their uh, need to wander. I'm going to go and set everyone's schedules back to monthly orders here. You're still gathering items, huh? Wow. All right. Which one Which one did you claim? This one here. Oh, it's got a bunch of crap already. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We're still sitting on infinite leather. Definitely a lot more than we need. I wonder if maybe I could sell some of the leather back to someone. Bought it from humans. We could sell it to the dwarves. Now, assuming we had a trade caravan, we're about to go into autumn. What we're hoping for is no siege, just because it would interfere with our trade. If there is a siege, we might have to send out our military immediately. So everyone here... Actually, maybe not you. I don't think you've been set to... Yeah, you're still in light plus spear. We'll set heavy plus spear. And because the uniforms are the same, except for another couple of items, basically it should be fine because mostly they've, 
you know, they're still going to be trying to equip themselves um, as if they have their light armor. So you got some onyxes in there, plenty of bone. All right. See how that all shakes out. Uh, should we do, should we go back to do the party? Well, I can't do it while the strange mood is going on. I have to wait for at least that to go over. Is there any chance that Nomad... Hmm. <laughs> Sorry for the silence there. I had to sneeze. I muted the first one. Unmuted. Second one caught me off guard. Ah. Uh. Still frustrated. Man, I don't... I still don't know the, the optimal way to keep all my dwarves happy. Especially the military dwarves. And then when they get salty about not acquiring things, and yeah, different stuff like that. If you're just rusty here, you could be thrown into a squad. Alright, Noble, what did you make? A bronze battle axe. Again, I kind of wish there was a way to quickly see... Maybe I should just open up Dwarf Therapist, right? Because if we happen to have a Dwarf with a high um, Axe Dwarf skill, we could manually assign them the Artifact Battle Axe. But since I don't know, I'm just going to assign it as a display item over here. Oops. With DF Hack, please certainly filter to our Artifacts here and throw that on there. Let's take a look at it. Ecru Walk. This is a bronze battle axe. All craft warship is of the highest quality. It is encrusted with with single cut onyxes. This object is adorned with hanging rings of rhesus macaque leather and menaces with spikes of dolomite, pig bone, dog bone, and onyx. On the item is an image of Lomoth Shade Shadows, the Dead of Twilight, the Horned Horror, and Dwarves in Bronze. Lomoth Shadow sh Shade Shadows, the Dread Twilight, is surrounded by the dwarves. The artwork relates to the rise of the Horned Horror, Lomoth. Shade Shadows, the Dead of Twilight, as an enemy of the special peaceful razors in the late summer of 11. During the rampage of the Horn Horror, Lomoth Shade Shadows, the Dead of Twilight, in Page Lances. On the item is an image of Yearling Coven, the Tarnish of Floods, the Tetrahedrite Coffin in Dolomite. Well, not the most valuable of artifacts, but pretty nice. Certainly not going to complain about that one. Did that happen to make us... Another legendary weaponsmith? No, it did not. Okay. Oh, no. Wait, hold on. Nubal actually may have was already weaponsmith, which is very convenient. Okay. <clears throat> we don't tend to necessarily need to craft that many weapons. Well, except for the Queen's demands, which come up all the time. Um, but, but in terms of our squad, yeah, we don't tend necessarily need that many. But if we can't upgrade more of them to like masterwork weapons or something, that would hardly be a hardship. Yeah, so it's not that they're without chest or leg armor. Yeah, you even have your male shirt and everything. You're just, you're missing your breastplate. And apparently your leather tunic as well, which is weird because I would have expected we had tons of those. Maybe I should do a bulk order of that. Or maybe it's, um, maybe it's an issue with like dressing themselves in the correct order here. And on their legs, same thing. They've got their leather trousers, but they don't have their, their greaves. Um, I'll just ask for a bunch of leather tunics to be made. I think we do have a regular job for it, but let's put in a bulk order. Hell, you know what? A 50. <clears throat> we'll make sure there's a brand new tunic waiting for every single one of our military dwarves, should they want it. Or at the very least, lots of spares. I think some of our civilians, the tunics do count as clothes, even the leather ones. Um, I think. So I think they can equip it if they if they need the clothes too. So there's a little bit of conflict there potentially. But the big thing is we just have so much leather. We may as well burn through some of it if we can. Okay, still waiting on those statues. Some more of the tables and chairs did get equipped. Don't have the warning yet that we're nearly out of time for these. So I'm just trying to delay as long as possible. Now, if you're training it's still just train plus and maybe that's as good as it gets i'll have to double check that i don't know if there's a category 
no squad assign. I don't know if we can assign it to you. You definitely used to be able to assign train animals to go with your hunters and or with your squads. And maybe that is in the Steam version. And I just don't know where it is. It hasn't really come up yet. I might do a little bit of a Googlefication between episodes here to take care of that. Now, my one-time order here for the breastplates and greaves. Once these finish, I think we're going to go and do some much more aggressive plundering on the map and potentially do the thing where we ask people. We just show up with these squads of heavily armored units and ask them to bend the knee to us. I think if I do that, I think my squad will stay behind to lead the site, so I might have to manually request some of them come back, especially if I send more than one squad. I don't know, maybe we'll make the attempt with one. I don't know if, like, skill matters or the military, like, the gear. I, I, I don't know what might influence their, their willingness to bend the knee from us just making a demand. Okay, we didn't instantly get a siege at the start of autumn. Sometimes I think you can. Oh yeah, we got an armor and weapon stockpile over here on the surface, which is mostly for dumping. Do we have that linked for our smelting? I don't think we do. Oh no, we do. Never mind. Excellent. Good. Because I know there, this, this the melting command takes from here, but it also takes from the surface, which is good when we get raided. Uh, Snatcher, that's fine. So you got spotted. So you're probably going to start running away. You must have gotten spotted by a random woodcutter or something. Multiple snatchers, apparently, but yeah, not actually worried. Because again, they do start to run immediately after being spotted. Oh, one of them got caged. And it did not get forbidden. I guess maybe it's only while you got a siege, the cages get forbidden. Which is actually a really smart behavior. Because you don't want your civilians running out in the middle of a battle to swap some cages around. The same reason that bolts are forbidden by default. Okay, we still haven't been raided, that's good. Yeah, looking forward to the trade caravan. The one downside to us being the capital, we can't request specific things from trade caravans. Um, we could from the humans, but not anymore because we're in a war with them. We still have like a ridiculous amount of stuff sitting in here. Yeah, I bought way too much leather. But hey, at least we don't have to worry about it for the rest of time. Folks, we're going to wrap up the episode here. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, next episode, well, again, we're going to keep working on um, our heavy armor over here, which is progressing nicely, actually. And then hopefully... We, yeah, we're just going to get way more of a kick-ass force. I'll see you next time, folks. Bye-bye.